800-800-7750. So, what options do we have when it comes to heating our homes? In tonight's cover story, WB2 News reporter Susan Holly shows us what's hot in the search for cheaper heat. If you're dreading your next gas bill, maybe it's time to think about how to heat your home for the rest of the winter and still afford to eat. I put on my clothes. <laughs> I'm trying to save some energy. <laughs> Gordon Hyatt works in home improvement. For the past few days, he's been a very popular guy. I've had probably 20 or 30 people come in uh, asking about insulation, uh, windows, any way to save energy. He says both can make a huge difference. If your home isn't properly insulated, you could be losing 30% of your heat right out of the roof. Leaky windows and doors can also take a toll. It's too cold to caulk right now, but experts say that's the first thing you should do this summer. That way you'll be ready to face the high expenses of next year. Until then, using shrink film will help stop cold drafts. Many stores can't keep it on the shelf. It has an adhesive tape that goes around the window and then you put your film on here and then you use a hair dryer to shrink, shrink it up so it looks nice. Space heaters are also becoming a popular item. They're good for warming up those hard to heat rooms. You can spend under $100 for a pretty basic model or several hundred for one that looks a little like a fireplace. To warm the whole house, pellet and wood burning stoves are gaining attention. This is the burn pot right here. Jerry Witt owns a stove store in Parker. Over the past two weeks, he's been swamped with calls from people angry over this gas price hike and looking for cheaper heat. They're also concerned. They're worried about, uh, you know, what's going to happen about, uh, you know, their heat bill. A pellet stove will heat a 2,000 square foot home fairly well. The initial cost is about $3,000. For less than $4 a day, you can feed it enough pellets to keep it burning. What suggests comparing that to your next gas bill? Susan Holly, WB2 News. Now, home improvement experts advise getting an energy assessment for your home. That'll tell you where you're losing heat and how to stop it. E-Star Colorado is a state agency that conducts energy assessments. You can call 1-800-824-1688 for information. But just like the cost of heating your home, an energy assessment will cost you as well between about $100 and $600.